Hey professor, here is my clock demonstration. I'm gonna flip these down and so we'll be able to um, see it counting basically on time with the video hopefully. So um, I'll talk over the module since I have significantly more than normal and then we'll be able to check down with the clock as it uh, continues counting up. So this is my top module. I have a set of switches for my resets. Um, for my clocks, as well as um, my counters over here. Um, besides that, I have obviously the clock input that runs from the XDC file or the constraint file, as well as I have two outputs, my anode and my segment, which are you know working for the displays here. Um, moving down, I have a bunch of wires set up, including seconds and minutes, and this helps me um, you know, it's it's just designed to help me keep track um, when I get to some of my other modules as well as I have a thousands, hundreds, and tens. Oh, and we just crossed a minute. I'll make sure to catch the last minute switch so I can prove it works. Um, but this helps me keep track of the four places that um, that belong there for keeping time. And then I have two wires. One's called slow clock. One's called fast clock. One is for the one hertz counter, and one is for the four hundred hertz counter. Um, I have, these are my actual two um, clock generators right there. And those are based off of the clock gen um, code that you gave us. And then I have this seconds module or what's called seconds. And this runs the logic of my, um, you know, entire function and, okay, cool. We'll watch that tick over in a second. Um, yeah, so this is all the math, including the fact that um, seconds keeps adding up until it equals to 59 and then it adds a minute and there we go we saw that work so that's how my seconds module works i have my b into bcd and this one um, has division and modulus math which helps actually keep track i have the clock counting and then i have um, the b into bcd helps keep track of its placement sorry i know my titles are weird so just don't worry oops pardon don't worry about the titles but that's what um, it does. So that's keeping track of where all the numbers land. I have my seven segment, which is just my decoder. Um, and then I have my, what I call a two bit counter. It's really a combination of the two bit counter as well as um, the assigning of the actual number values. So I have the counter up here. Obviously it's two bits and it's just, you know, between one and zero. And then what I have down here is I have cases for Q. And so as they switch along with my counter, it's actually placing, you know, my my number and segment in its proper spot. So we're starting in our ones, you know, then we have, you know, our one seconds, our 10 seconds, our first minute, and then like our second minute. Yeah. So that is an overview of the code I have for this. And as we can see, my clock started about four seconds into the video and it's pretty much keeping time with the duration of the video so we know that it's also counting um, properly and on time. It's not taking too long or too short. So um, that's my video demo and I hope everything makes sense. Uh, take care, Professor.